This is a chair. This is a man. Watch him sit. Watch him stand. Watch him sit. Watch him stand. Sit. 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 Stand. Welcome to lesson number five on subtraction, first grade. And we will be talking about fewer, and sometimes we'll mention the more. But we're really focusing on fewer. And what does that mean? When comparing with subtraction. As you saw earlier, we had a chair and we had a man. Just by looking at this, we can see there are fewer chairs than there are men. Because we can see that there are no chairs here for these two guys to sit on. So there are fewer chairs than there are men. Another way you can look at it is there are more men compared to the amount of chairs. See, we can see it. More guys up here, fewer chairs down here. But how many fewer? Two fewer, right? Because we need two more to have the same amount. So there are two, there are two fewer chairs than there are men. Because we need two more chairs, one, two, over here, to have just enough seating for all these guys here. So how does this look in terms of subtraction? So six minus four is equal to two. The six guys minus four shows the two, which is the difference between them. That's the missing two. This represents the fewer. The difference between the six guys and the four chairs is a difference of two. Two fewer chairs. Or again, you can look at it as two more men then there are chairs. Here is another example. So this is a lock and this is a key. And just in case you don't know how this works, the key goes in there and then it just opens the lock. So we need this one key for the lock. I will replay it one more time. The lock, the key, the key goes in there, twists, and opens the lock. So the lock needs the key to open. We have three locks, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven keys, and three locks. So, just looking at this, what are you thinking? How many fewer locks do we have? Here are three locks and seven keys. Looks like we need one more lock here. One, two, three, four. Four locks. So there are four fewer locks than there are keys. Or another way you can look at it, there are four more keys. There's a one, two, three, four, four more keys than there are locks, because there's only three locks. So, one more time. Because we need four more locks here, we will say there are four fewer locks. Because we don't have four here, so there are four fewer locks. See, look at the picture. Four fewer locks than there are keys. 
So that's the difference between the amount of locks and keys. And so to write this out, it's pretty much the seven to represent the keys. Seven keys minus the three locks. And that equals the difference between them. The four. That's the difference between. So this four is telling us that there are four more keys than there are locks. Or four less locks than there are keys. Okay, this one has a little word problem to it. Bob has four red crayons and three yellow pencils. How many fewer pencils does Bob have? Remember, Bob has four red crayons and three yellow pencils. So what we're trying to find is how many fewer pencils does Bob have? And we're told that he has four red crayons and three yellow pencils. So we're going to take a look at that. The best way is to draw pictures and things like that. And so I'm going to be using little pictures. So we have four red crayons. One, two, three, four. And three yellow pencils. We have one, two, three. We have one, two, three. Three yellow pencils. How many fewer pencils does Bob have? Well, just looking at this, I can see he has one fewer. Because we needed one more pencil here to have the same amount of pencils and crayons. So he has one fewer. And that's the difference between his crayons and pencils. He has four crayons minus the three pencils. And that equals a one difference, one fewer. This one can be one more crayon than pencils. And also it can mean one fewer pencils than crayon. That's what this one represents. The difference between crayons and pencils. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine flowers, so we have one B, two Bs, three, four, five. So this B is for that flower, for that flower, for that flower, for that flower, for that one. And look at what we have. Four more flowers here. So just looking at this, we can see, since we need four more bees here, we have four fewer bees than we have flowers. Or another way you can say it is we have four more flowers. One, two, three, four. Four more flowers than we have bees. Again, so, because we need four more bees here, we say we have four fewer bees than we have flowers. Or four more flowers than we have bees. And that's the difference between the flowers and the bees. Right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine flowers. Minus the one, two, three, four, five bees. 
And that's going to equal the 4. This 4 tells us the difference between flowers, 9 flowers, 5 bees. 4 is the difference. So Sarah has 4 more hats than she has shirts. How many fewer shirts does Sarah have? If you really think about this, okay, this one I'll just write it straight out. Instead of using counters, I just do little counters. So here are the hats and shirts. If you really think about it, she has four more hats than she has shirts. How many fewer shirts does Sarah have? So you try to find how many fewer shirts does Sarah have. And we're told that she has four more hats than shirts. So if you really think about it, we can just make anything up. We can say, let's say she has one, two, three, four, five, six, let's say six hats, right? For her to have how many fewer shirts? If she has four more hats than shirts, so let's just, I just made up a number. I said six. So if she had six hats, and for this to be four more, for this to be considered four more, right? Let's, let's really take a look at this one. For her shirts, I would need two shirts, right? So these counters represent the shirts. So two shirts and six hats will give us that difference of four. That difference will give us this, that difference of four. See? Right? So it would be... This one, we didn't really have to draw any pictures because what I've been saying since the whole example, six minus two is four. The six hats minus the two shirts is four. That's the difference. So this four represents four more hats or how many fewer shirts she has? Four fewer shirts than she has hats. So this four really tells us two things. That there's four more hats, see right here? And also it tells us that there are four fewer shirts that Sarah has. Okay, and that's this lesson for now. Be sure to continue watching videos and other lessons. Goodbye!